today's Kidsburg report, there was no question that children bring magic to the holidays, but it can also get expensive with all the events and gifts. Well, Kidsburg Ambassador Yuling Bear is here to help with a guide to free things that you can do with your kids this holiday. And Yuling, I love the first thing on your list because we got to see it. It's amazing it for is adults. Amazing. So the gingerbread house display is amazing. There's 450 gingerbread houses and they have a miniature train that goes through it. And as you know, um, kids, adults, families, schools made these gingerbread houses. Um, I always go and see it. I'm like, oh, next year I am going to make that That's gingerbread what we said. house. <laughs> You're inspired. Yes. <laughs> we said the same thing. Have you made one yet? We have. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, That's my great. kids each make one and I help them. I'm the helper. Okay. So, and I do exactly what they say. And it's so hard for me not to maybe like make it the way I want to make it. So yeah. I try to listen to them. <laughs> But it is kind of fun. It gives you some inspiration if you're looking for something to do at home. Um, also, the spirits of giving. This is one of my favorite things to do with my kids during the holiday season. So these are life-size Santas that represent 16 different countries and customs. And they're absolutely stunning and beautiful. Um, I love taking my kids because they learn something new every time that we go. And for example, Befana is the one from Italy. And she delivers gifts to kids uh, on the eve of the Feast of the Epiphany. And what I love is she gives candies to kids if they're good, coal if they're not, but she prides herself on being a good housekeeper. So she'll sweep your floors and sweep out <gasps> all the bad luck. Oh, I want and, her to come to my house. <laughs> and of course, Italian families leave her a glass of wine and food. And this is at one PPG place and two PPG. Yes, they moved to a new location this year. All right, and your next on your list is what we just saw Mikey at, the Holiday Market, right? Yes, the Holiday Market. It's fun to walk around and just see all those amazing gifts. Um, in addition, you can meet the jolly old elf and share your wish with him or you can make a donation to the Pittsburgh Food Bank and take a picture with Santa. And while you're there, of course, we also recommend that you see the BNY Mellon Season of Lights. So there's 150,000 LED lights in a 35-foot tree, um, and it's all synchronized to music, so you get a free little holiday light show, and it runs every 30 minutes. So it you don't is have fun. to worry about meeting, yeah. missing it. And I know this time of year, a lot of people like to see the Pittsburgh crash. It's a very beautiful exhibit. It's on Grant Street in the U.S. Steel Tower Plaza, um, 19 life-size figurines. And it's been there since 1999. And it's the only authorized replica of the crash um, from the St. Peter's Square in Rome. So it's definitely something to stop by and see. Mm -hmm. Very unique that Pittsburgh has that. All right, kids play. Kids play. This is fun. Kids need to play. Yes, so, so do adults. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so head on over to Heinz Hall Garden, and they partnered with the Fred Rogers Company this year. Um, and you can meet Daniel Tiger, Miss Elena, Peg Plus Cat. You can do hands-on activities like making an ornament with the Children's Museum or learning about circuitry with the Carnegie Science Center. We stopped by here, and it was a lot of fun to see. And the kids seem to really enjoy it. Um, and so we should also talk about the Holly Trolley, because that's how we were that's able to see it. That's how we went to all the yeah. sites. And so, you know, they go, they stop at seven different places, including mm -hmm. Holiday Kids Play, all the way over to the Heinz History Center. It's a 15 minute loop, so you can just stay on it if you want, or you can get on and off and experience it, and it's all free. And who doesn't love a little trolley ride? Oh, it was very cool. It was yeah. cool. They and also, for, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, they also do horse drawn carriage rides mm -hmm. for free as well. And that's those awesome. are offered on Saturday and Sunday afternoons. And finally, first night, because we know that's family friendly. Mm -hmm. It is. So, December 31st, first night, it's the Pittsburgh tradition for ringing in the new year. Um, it spans the cultural district, tons of outdoor activities, a parade. But what I love is they don't just do a fireworks show at midnight, they also do another one at 6 p.m. earlier in the day right. for those of you with young kids or who like to go to bed early. Right. <laughs> and I know a lot of kids love the parade, which is at 8 o'clock that is. evening. So. Yeah, we'll be having fun. On yeah, we'll be, we'll be live. We'll bring it all to you live at 11 o'clock that night. Yeah, yeah. if you want to stay up and watch us. Get thank the you. kids to bed and enjoy. Very yes. much for being here. Thank oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and in today's Kidsburg Report, there. oh, well, we will have more of this on our website. You can go to PittsburghTodayLive.com for all of the details on all of the items that we talked about and a full guide there. And make sure to sign up for their email list so you can always be in the know for things that are happening for kids and families in our area.